Hello everyone, in this video we will very very briefly discuss about androgen insensitivity syndrome. But I am making sure that the information you will get will be sufficient for your understanding and knowledge of AIS. So the monomic for this AIS is very simple and very traditional but I don't like it but yes if it helps us to remember this thing let it be. Androgens are present but they cannot act. The beautiful female who is generally male. Okay very weird kind of uh, monomic. Let's talk about this thing scientifically. The genotype of this people or of this person is XY genotypically this person is a male and so the person also have testes bilateral testes but the testes are intra abdominal non descended testes and as you know this thing once the testes remain into this abdomen they have increased chance of malignancy okay now if you further think of testes the testes have basically two kind of cell the sertoli cells which produces antimullerian hormone here testes are there and testes is working testis is present there and testis are very good working but the very problem is that the androgen that produce uh, testis produce the androgen cannot act where it should be so we have no problem in the testis testis are well well good they are working as they should be so they are producing testosterone they are producing amh so amh is produced that's why the Mullerian duct will not be there. So Mullerian duct is not there. So uterus, fallopian tube, cervix, upper vagina is not present. Okay. Now this leading cell is producing androgens. Androgens are there but cannot act. So if they cannot act, the Wolfian duct, the Wolfian duct cannot be uh, developed and the Wolfian duct is the duct who makes the all male reproductive things like seminal vesicle, epididymis, ejaculatory duct, vas deferens all this thing is not present because of the testosterone cannot act and it the person does not have any androgenic hair so the hair on the face hair on the uh, in the axilla, pubic hair, no hair is seen in this kind of person because androgens cannot act. But what can be done is androgen can go and convert into estrogen. So the estrogen is a basic and very basic hormone of female and that will make the features of female undoubtedly that means there will be a breast development and very very feminine feature the female will be obviously the beautiful female that's why that weird monomic is there but what you should understand with this beautiful women concept is the the woman has or the person has estrogen in very good amount and not opposed by androgen because androgen is a male hormone estrogen is a female hormone there is there are both hormone are present in every person but on, uh, the dominance is different here the estrogen is dominating thing that's why the person is female despite the genetically male thing so that's why the pro problem in AIS happens so if you see the patient profile the patient comes to you at time of puberty or at 15 to 16 years why they came to you with this age because they don't have menses okay because they don't have menses they come to you and make uh, uh, request you to further investigate so 
you already know that okay, yes if it is AIS here then the androgens will not going to act that's why the intrauterine life development of female genitalia will be there and once the baby is born the baby will be taken as a female and the further baby will reconfirm herself as a female because the secondary sexual characteristic will be well established and once this female kind of things are happening the person who is developing as an adult has a physical or as a psychological phenotype of being female is already there so the person comes to you thinks that she is a female obviously so and i already have told you what's matter in deciding the gender of any person it is a psychological gender is most important if the person thinks that he is or she is a female or male then let it be so if here in this thing the person is actually genotypically a male but if the person thinks that yes she is a female then let it be you cannot change further this psychological gender okay so as we know that in this person there is no mullery duct so there will be no uterus no vagina upper vagina there will be a blind pouch of vagina will be there that form from the urogenital sinus but we can understand make them understand that they cannot menstruate and they are female and they would like to be a female in the further life so then we want to treat them further like that we should remove the testis why we should remove the testis because it has a increased chance of malignancy but once you remove the testis you are removing the source of androgens so that's why the source of estrogen indirectly so if the testis is removed then you need to give external estrogen to make the better sexual function you can go for vaginal vaginoplasty just before marriage so this thing you can do what you cannot treat in this person is the person is infertile and the person cannot have a baby as a female okay because the karyotype is male and there will be no sperms that's why the female is infertile and you can't do anything about that adoption is the only treatment thank you